The question of the day here is plain and simple. I'm not going to cut around it. But do you really have what it takes? The question is, are you a savage? All right, we're going to get into the episode. I'm excited for this one. This is Beyond the Ball, where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Ballers, welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball. Uh, I'm Jonathan Jones, and here we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree all right we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree and i'm just gonna go ahead and dive into it i want to start off with a clip um, from jj reddick he is a former duke alum or duke basketball player uh the university of duke and he also had a 16 year career in the nba so we're gonna go ahead and just share this clip and then we're gonna come right back you weren't even around me in the off season my off seasons were harder than the season bro right. that's a fact and that's a big reason I retired because I couldn't do a fucking other off season. Straight up. Like my off seasons were six days a week, two or three workouts a day, Saturdays off, Sundays make 342 shots exactly every Sunday in the off season for the last 13 years. Why 342? It's very simple, man. There's seven spots on the floor, 20 spot twos, 20 spot threes, three dribbles going right, three dribbles going left. That's plus 20 free throws, that's 342. This oh. is that shit yeah. that happened to him when he but this, was I was like this, dude. This I was is what like happened. This. I started cold tubbing and I'd be like, all right, they want me to cold tub for 12 minutes. So I'd cold tub for 12 minutes. And then I get the point where I'm like, you know, if I start my timer a little too early, I'm not getting that full 12 minutes. I don't want to cheat myself. So I started cold tubbing for 12 minutes and 25 seconds just to give myself wiggle room, right? You know, then I'd, everything. My, my routine, like on a normal day of game, I knew exactly what I was going to eat for breakfast. I knew exactly when I was going to get to the gym. I knew exactly how many minutes I was going to spend in the hot tub before I got on the training table. Then I got my work in the weight room for activation. Then I got my pre-shoot around shooting. Then my post-shoot around shooting. Then my cold tub. Knew exactly what I'm going to eat for lunch. Then I knew exactly when I was going to nap. I had my naps timed out, bro. By the end of my I career, like I if I said I need, to, I need to fall asleep at 1.05 to wake up at 3.30, I could do it like that. Your body is just waking up. He's making yeah. me feel like I could have been better, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I didn't have none no, of this The whole shit. day, I, the whole I, day. Was I know I had out. a routine. Yeah. This yeah. is different. My off seasons, bro, they started the next Monday. Yeah. Lose on Saturday, I'm in the gym Monday. Like that, I, I, I loved the process. I loved everything that went into it. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. JJ Reddick showing us really what it looks like to truly be obsessed with the process. Out the gate, the first question I have for you is this. Are you truly willing to be an individual who does what it takes? All right. Are you truly willing to be that person that you need to be to elevate, not just in your sport, but in life? All right. Because I was the person I, 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 would, I would go to the gym early, right? I would go to the gym early. I would get some shots in. Then I, I would ice down in a cold tub before the game. i go early to get back up to, to the game. And I, I'd ice down. At, like, I did all that, too, in terms of icing. Not all them shots, okay? Not, not all that. But he was willing to go beyond. And I, I'm, I'm going to show you something else that I really want to really break this down because... Uh, I feel like we really can't even truly grasp all of what he did and the impact of what he did if I don't show you um, just some of his stats and who he was. Because J.J. Redick, in his first four years in the league, right, because if you are familiar with, with Duke and what he did at Duke, then you're going to know how, how dominant he was, okay? But you might not be familiar with his career in the league. So therefore, I, I, I want to I wanna break that down and show you a little bit about his career in the league because this will help you uh, further conceptualize uh, how dedicated he really was. So look, check this out. And I want to make sure you can see it. So we'll zoom in a little bit. Okay, so look, J.J. Reddick, J.J. Reddick had 16 years in the league, all right? And then down at the bottom in 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, he was under averaging 10 points a game. Okay? I'm not going to be on this too long. I just want to break it down. But just as he got into that 2010 season, then you start to see the numbers starting to climb up to right about that 2018 season. And then 2019, he's averaging 10 points plus per game. All right. Just wanted to break that down really quick just to show you that out of 16 years, he might have had six off years. And that was because like the last year was downhill. And I mean, 
I don't think anybody really does that great in their last year. But the fact of the matter is this right here. J.J. Reddick was so locked in to what he was doing and so locked in to the mission at hand because he was truly obsessed with the process, okay? J.J. Reddick was obsessed with the process. So the, the first thing I got for you is, are you really willing to do what it takes to be what you need to be in every area of your life? Okay, that, that's the first part. The second part is this. The question is plain and simple. Are you going to be a weekend warrior, just the person who does what they need to do and shoot around, they go hard and shoot around the day before the game, right? You cram and do what you need to do just before the test. You write the paper one week before it's due. You've been had it. Or are you going to be somebody who says, you know what? I'm going to be a savage all year around. I'm not going to be boxed in. I'm not going to be confined. I'm going to be on at all times. I'm going to be on with my dress, right? I'm going to dress accordingly. I'm going to always, I'm always going to be uh, looking the part. I'm going to show up in class on time. I'm going to sit in front of my classes. I'm going to talk to my teachers and have a relationship with my instructors. I'm going to be the person who's on in my relationships. And then I'm even going to be able to perform on the court, in the pool, on the green. Right? The, the choice is yours. The, the choice really is yours. Are you going to be a savage? Right? A savage. And I really like that. I really like saying that. <laughs> I, like, I really like saying that. Are you going to be a savage year round or are you going to be a weekend warrior? And the last thing is... Have you identified an area of your obsession? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it, John. Have you identified an area of your obsession? J.J. Redick, yes, he is a, well, he was a NBA player. He was a college player. He was a basketball player, right? That's where he was obsessed. He was up. You heard him say it at the end of the clip. He said, I'm obsessed with the process. Right. He loves the process and that's fine. Now, the question for you is, what are you obsessed with? It might not be your sport. That's fine. It could be studying a particular subject matter. However, we must find an area and a thing to where we're absolutely obsessed with. And then when you get obsessed with it, become the go-to for that thing, for that area of your life. So that when people have a question about this, they know to ask you, all right? So family, this is Beyond the Ball. Like I said before, we're going to do a quick recap. But if you enjoyed this content, make sure to smash that like button if you're watching on YouTube and even hit subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. Uh, but we talked about... Are you, willing to, are you willing to do what you need to do in order? Are you willing to do what you need to do in order for you to be successful, right? The next one was, are you going to be a weekend warrior? You do just what you need to do for the weekend. After that, you take it easy. You tell a coach you hurt. You say you injured. You don't want to show up for class. Or are you going to be a savage all year around? not just all season, all year around. And the last thing is identify your obsession. Identify your obsession, baby. Once you identify that obsession, go all the way in on it because that's going to be your ticket in life. All right. This is Jonathan Jones. This has been another episode of Beyond the Ball. Like we said before, if you enjoyed this content, be sure to smash the subscribe button and drop a comment down below. Let me know what topics you would like to hear me cover or who you'd like to see me interview next. It's Jonathan Jones. This is Beyond the Ball, where we help you succeed beyond your degree.